512th Contact, Saturday, 1 January 2011. This is an excerpt from the 512th Contact Conversation. Patar says you also alerted Florana regarding a letter and had given her the contents, after which I checked into the matter and found some serious errors. Billy says yes, look here, this is a fax that my old friend Ernst Meehofer sent over to me on Thursday. Consequently, I immediately told Florana so that she informed you about it, so that we could talk about it today after the correction work. However, you had already let me know about the mistakes on Thursday night through Florana. She had just come past at around 12.25 am, so that Bernadette and I were able to correct the mistakes yesterday. Nevertheless I would like to go through it all again with you, so that everything really is clear and correct and there are no more errors. Ernst wrote the following Dear Edward, regarding the following from the 228th contact report of the 1st of May 1989, that I copied from Volume 5, pages 474-475. I would like something explained, for it is not entirely clear to me how I should understand it all. Particularly the 570, comma three zeros, three zeros, three zeros stars with planets are somewhat incomprehensible for me, because it is not clear with that whether there are 570, comma three zeros, three zeros, three zeros stars and planets or whether there are 570, comma three zeros, three zeros, three zeros suns that have planets. One could understand it as one liked so I would like to ask what is meant by it. In addition, the whole thing does not correlate with other statements in contact reports 467 and 264, which I have also faxed to you. Did writing mistakes creep in there? With greetings, Ernst. Billy says Pata and you and Semiaza, you said that our Milky Way has 570, comma three zeros, three zeros, three zeros stars with planets, but that there were only about seven comma three zeros, three zeros smaller and larger solar systems with planets upon which higher life exists. Are the planetary satellites, that is to say moons, also included? Quetzal says yes, because there are in certain solar systems with huge central stars, gigantic planets with immense gravitation which themselves are too big to be able to carry higher life, but their moons are however very well positioned to do so. For your understanding we call these life-supporting objects not moons however, but planet planets. Billy says probably just because they are actually planets of a mother planet, or Quetzal says that is correct. Billy says and the 7 million solar systems with planets in our galaxy, on which higher life exists, does it concern thereby entirely only human civilizations? Quetzal says no. The universe with all its galaxies is very thinly populated with human life forms, with all space and time shifted dimensions, respectively, all existing space-time fabrics included. Many planets and moons carry only very low, microorganic life or only forms of life such as animals, birds, fish, beetles and insects etc. which have nothing to do with higher life. Billy says then I have misunderstood something, because I was of the view that you have always spoken of the fact that it concerned human life forms only. Quetzal says then you succumbed to a mistake if you assumed that those approximately 7, three zeros, three zeros solar systems with their planets are only to equate with human civilizations. Maybe you have really. Billy says, misunderstood something. Quetzal says I wanted to say that. In this galaxy they are only 2, six three zero, three zeros known to us, but additionally there are 1, one four one three zeros, three zeros from other galaxies known to us that should also be included. Of the actual low developed civilizations in this galaxy, which you call the Milky Way, one comma zero four zero, three zeros are known to us. Universe wide in your material space time structure, our scientists estimate that about six comma three zeros, three zeros, three zeros, three zeros to seven comma three zeros, 
three zeros, three zeros, three zeros human civilizations of high and low form probably exist. 467th Contact of Monday, 28 June 2008, Volume 23. Billy says Quetzal said to me recently that your newest computations produced a number of approximately 430,3 zeros, three zeros, three zeros regarding the number of stars in our Milky Way. What is the size of the number for the Andromeda Nebula? 264th contact, of Thursday, 14. May 1998 Billy says then just not here is the provisionally last question what are your calculations concerning the number of the stars in our Milky Way? Pata says we do not possess exact data, but rather only estimated figures. Billy says and, what does your science of astronomy or so estimate how many stars there are in the Milky Way? Pata says our computations amount to approximately 165,3 zeros, three zeros, three zeros giant stars and 405,3 zeros, three zeros medium and small. Billy says I would like to explain to my friend by phone what you have to say, because obviously actually serious errors have emerged, and we need to iron them out. Patar says the errors in the 228th contact report are known to me, because I checked again everything on Thursday, including Quetzal's explanation which unfortunately, as a result of pose, resulted in the confusing statement, 570,3 zeros, 3 zeros, 3 zeros stars with planets. Firstly the number 570 is wrong, because the correct figure is 587, and secondly after, billion stars, there should not be, with, but, and. In the 467th report, in regard to the stars, is wrong, because it should correctly say, in regard to the planets. Also the number 430,3 zeros, 3 zeros, 3 zeros is wrong, because 431,3 zeros, 3 zeros, 3 zeros is the correct number. In the 264th report the number 165 is wrong, because 156 is the correct number. In the same sentence, giant stars, is also wrong, because the correct term is just, stars. Furthermore, in the same sentence, 405,3 zeros, 3 zeros, is wrong, correct is, of those, 21,3 zeros, 3 zeros, 3 zeros are medium and smaller sized types. Billy says well, then we must separate the whole lot into stars and planets. What results from that? Do you have more exact information as to how many stars and how many planets there are? Patar says in this respect I can give you our data, and these state that your galaxy, the Milky Way, according to our calculations, has about 156,3 zeros, 3 zeros, 3 zeros stars and 431,3 zeros, 3 zeros, 3 zeros planets with solid matter. In addition, there are millions of objects of a gaseous nature, known by the Earth humans as a gaseous planets and nebulae. The principal normal stars, which are comparable to Sol, must be calculated to be about 21,3 zeros, 3 zeros, 3 zeros, and only in their sphere of influence are many forms of higher life possible. Furthermore there are even larger and many times brighter stars than these, just as there are also some which even surpass those that are greater and brighter in their mass and brightness. Also overwhelmingly huge suns exist which, however, form from conglomerations of suns. Small stellar objects exist such as neutron stars, white dwarfs, red dwarfs and brown dwarfs within whose sphere of influence no higher life develops. Of these 156,3 zeros, 3 zeros, 3 zeros stars about 7,3 zeros, 3 zeros are smaller and larger solar systems, which have planets and planet planets upon which higher life is supported. Some of the smaller and larger solar systems have several planets and planet planets upon which higher life exists, 
whereby the number of life-supporting planets and planet planets greatly increases. Billy says Quetzal said that there are two comma six three zero three zeros highly developed civilizations and one comma zero four zero three zeros low developed civilizations within our Milky Way. Does this apply to the whole galaxy? Pata says no. It applies only to those highly and lowly developed civilizations that are known to us. The full number of all higher and lower civilizations will likely run into a multiple of that. Part 2. Billy says, but now I am still interested in what Zafinat Panich has said regarding my question about television, computer and internet technology. Have you been able to give him my question? Patar says certainly and he has explained some things to me, but said that he had concerns about whether his response should be made public, so therefore you would have to decide whether you want to disclose his answer openly or not. Most recently, our talk was indeed of the sense that it is not to be discussed openly. Billy says I remember this of course, however, I have considered the whole thing thoroughly several times and have come to the conclusion that will indeed be better if we talk openly about it because it could only be useful for many people if they know the facts by which they can control themselves consciously and prevent various things. Patar says as you wish, but it could be dangerous in certain respects for you. Billy says I accept that. Patar says then I can talk openly thus Zafinat Panich explained again that on the earth a religious sectarian organization works together with a certain secret service to manipulate the people via television, computers and the internet as they wish. Not only are television equipment and many monitors manipulated so that the organization can see directly into the room and observe and listen to everything where the respective device is located, but the computers are also manipulated at will. However regarding the computers it means that these can be controlled from outside and impaired, if that is the wish of the organization concerned. This has been the case for many years whereby you also have been affected by it with your computer which was penetrated in order to disturb your work such that with certain writings, articles and books, that deal with religious and sectarian delusion, serious mistakes have been inserted or important facts deleted. Even pure computer disturbances are practiced with you, whereby even faults can occur. The whole thing, however, goes even further, because the mentioned secret service religious sectarian organization also intervenes in the lives of all users of televisions, monitors and internet users and manipulates them. This organization which is protected in a secret service manner using all the rules of the art has achieved worldwide admittance by means of its countless number of manipulated devices into the consciousness of the people and steers their behavior in many areas. As, for example, before in cinema and video films, etc., individual pictures of food and consumer goods were inserted that were registered into the subconsciousness of the spectator audience that resulted in the food and items being purchased commercially, this is done today in a similar manner by the said organization. With it the technology is so far developed with the assistance of the secret service concerned and their technicians and electronics engineers, programmers etc. The television sets, certain types of monitors as well as the entire internet can be abused for their own purposes. The whole thing extends not only to the religions and sects, but also to the politics and economy, namely in the manner that vibration impulses are emitted by the manipulated devices and apparatuses which are taken up by the people subconsciously and influence them. These impulses steer people subconsciously so that they faithfully turn to religions and sects, become religious sectarian fanatics, suicide bombers and terrorists. Also politics is steered in large measure in this manner, whereby at elections, the voters, are also being influenced by vibration impulses, consequently they choose those in the next government, etc., as is directed by the emitted impulses even concerning food, commodities and luxury goods etc., the same methods of influencing the subconsciousness and controlling the person come to the fore, but also in terms of contribution enthusiasm, at begging organizations and the like.
Also this harmonious as well as religious sectarian music is steered in this manner and through vibration impulses leads to mass hysteria etc. Today there is hardly anything that is not used to influence people subconsciously and to drive matters, actions and behaviors that are not self-determined, but criminally determined by the thoughts and aspirations of those who gain some profit from it. Very many people are to such a degree no longer capable of their own decision making, which they do not notice however, that therefore they do things and maintain thoughts that are given to them subconsciously by vibration impulses. Billy says and probably hardly anyone can resist against it, because everyone assumes that he acts according to his own will. Patar says this is right, because everything happens within the subconsciousness. Billy says it should nevertheless be possible however that the human being can defend against it, I assume, or. Patar says that is correct, but a clear consciousness is required which does not allow itself to be affected by vibration impulses of any kind. This includes open advertising and advertisements of all kinds, that are designed to entice people into doing certain things, actions, deeds and purchases etc. Billy says in a time since past, when I still went now and then to the cinema, the films were manipulated so with pictures that the spectators ran off during the breaks to buy ice cream, nuts, chocolate and Coca-Cola because they were urged to do so by the inserted pictures that penetrated into the subconsciousness. One day, when these rotten activities became public, the film manipulations concerning the inserted pictures became banned. Patar says this is right, however, now the whole thing repeats itself in the manner mentioned by Zafinak Panich, namely many times more extensively than at the time when cinema films were still being manipulated. And what regrettably appears with the whole reprehensible thing, is the fact that worldwide, to the whole population of the earth nothing is known of it and of their manipulation in this shameful manner. Billy says now I know this. I also understand why in politics the wrong people usually get at the helm of government. And it makes me understand why, during a sale of all kinds of goods in department stores, etc. hysterical masses get into a purchasing fury and also buy many other unnecessary things. Also it becomes understandable why, in today's time, so many humans still cry for the death penalty and endorse wars, as well as commit terror and suicide attacks etc. Also the fact that the believers of religions and sects as well as the members of extreme right and left groups become more fanatical and do not shrink back from gewalt 1, murder, torture, robbery and destruction etc. thereby has become explicable. All this led to constantly increasing and ever more comprehensive discord. Consequently it is also no wonder that disastrous riots are ever more prevalent, since for about 2.5 decades a purported music has reached people worldwide that is entirely disharmonious by which these people become more active in gewalt, unscrupulous, conscienceless and indifferent to each other. And if everything continues in the framework mentioned, then an uncontrollable anarchy and roaring chaos will ultimately develop. Patar says these relationships actually exist and so can your last remark also become reality. The End